Today I am going to show you guys my empties for this month. What I used, what I may repurchase, what I liked, what I didn't like about it. I will tell you all. Hola, bonjour, wagwan, passe. It's your girl Roxy Rose. And if you're new to my channel, please press that subscribe button down below. If you are not new and have not subscribed yet, please press that red button down below and also press that bell notification so you know every time I post. Okay, and also if you like my content, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and share with a friend. So if you are new here, my channel is mostly about makeup, endometriosis, my lifestyle journey, and all of that. But today I will be showing you guys my MP for September. So these are mostly beauty products, so I will show you everything. I will actually start off with the um, Oatmeal Skin Relief Lotion. I got this from Dollarama, I believe. It was $1.50. And I actually like this, this product because it really, it does say to protect and relieve dry skin. Even though it was $1.50, we used it up very quickly. We used it to the last drop. You know, there's nothing in it. And yeah, it just helped us during the summer. We do have other creams, so hopefully videos like this will help me use up my products. So I would buy this again just because it's cheap. I can like keep it in the car and I like how it is a skin relief oatmeal cream. So I definitely will buy this again. Even though it's cheap, it's good. My next one is a sample. So if you've seen my uh, wig, my wig unboxing, I got this sample. It is Cream of Nature Argan Oil for Natural Hair Moisture and Shine Curl Activator Cream. So there you go. And um, I really like this. I'm using on the second one. Oh, there's still some in this. See, it smells so good. Basically, what I did was just ooh, and oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> So when I do my when I do my um, my braids at night, I would spray my hair, put oil, and I added some of this. Let me see if I, there's any more. I thought I got all of it, but it's like there's still a bit some. So let me just use this to the last drop. I definitely will buy the bottle version of this because I really like it. I really really like it and it smells so good and I, I oh man I just really like it so this is done basically it says it's moisture and exotic shine for thick curly hair so my do have curly hair but I use it for when I do a twist out like this <laughs> this next one is this makeup remover. It's called By Facil. I just finished it this week. I love it. It smells so nice. Mm, I don't even... I think I got this at Jean, at the Jean Coutu, but I'm not really sure. Honestly. But it's double action eye makeup remover. It was a small compact size. And yeah, I had it for a while. But I really do like it. It smelled really good. If I could find that Bifestil brand, I probably would get it again. But I do have other makeup removers that I'm trying to finish. So when I'm done that, I will definitely buy more. This is done. Um, it's Arbonne, the copper lipstick. I don't know if you could see that. But it's like, oh my goodness. It's copper lipstick basically a copper color if you could see that okay and it's Arbonne I really like this lipstick uh, there's some in the Let's see Let's try to put it over 
already have lipstick on, but I can show you how the tone looks. I really like Arbonne products. I do not know if that color is still in existence, but I really love that color. Really, really loved it. It's like brownish with glitter, so I love that. It looks natural but makes it where lips pop this is also another arbonne uh, product it was a foundation i really don't remember the color name because they took it out the box but it was like like the light brown as you could see and i tried to pump this all the way out it was the perfect shade for my um summer complexion and yeah now it's no more so I'm, uh, I do have other foundations. Some of them I do have to mix. This was actually not my summer, sorry. This is my winter, my winter foundation. So the other ones I have is a bit darker for my summer. But this is the perfect one for my winter. I squeezed that out till the last drop. And I absolutely love, love, love this Arbonne foundation. I would get Arbonne again. It is a bit pricey, but they're all natural and vegan. So I definitely will be getting this again, and I love this shade. So I'll go with these ones. These are the ACO glitters. The silver and uh, gold. It, you may see some product inside. It's just, it's dried up. So um, yeah, I like them at first. I was using them for like my Christmas um, looks and stuff like that. And yeah, I like the liner on it. It's just sometimes it's very, uh, it feels a bit very liquidy. So I felt like I did have to apply more to make sure there's more glitter on the bus, on the, on the brush <laughs> than liquid. So yeah, but these are like four dollars fifty cents at Arden, or sometimes they have a sale for them. So. I may buy them again just to add to my glitter connect collection. I have baby lips. My baby lips are done. So I, I use these like really to the last. I gonna, I got this at Jonka too. I really like the color. It's Kiss of Rose. Hello, that is me. Yes. I would definitely get baby balm ball lips again and yeah so it's kiss of rose made by maybelline i definitely will buy this again because i like it and when you put it on your lips are all rosy and cute okay so this was a sample in um it was in one of the ipsy bags it's so worn out i can't even see the name which is Sad because this was amazing I really I don't know if I can go back into my history and try to find what this was but this smell was so good and I it is done like done can't even smell nothing right now better than sex mascara Okay, so I basically just used the last, last drop. So it might look clumpy on one side. This was given to me from a friend. Kudos to you for giving this to me. Thank you, girl. And um, I like it. I like the volume -ish. The only thing I do not like about Better Than Sex, but it's this brand, because I heard they have other uh, brands. And this is the Too Faced brand. And it's not waterproof. But it does make your your eyelashes look voluminous, and I like the brush. So this is how the brush looks. Okay. So I really like the brush. I would buy it again because a lot of people like it. But I want to look for one that is waterproof because sometimes it's like if it's. Uh, if my makeup gets messed up, it will go like dots here, which is not cute. This is another Arbonne brand. It is liquid eyeliner. Arbonne liquid eyeliner. This is the black. 
So Watch it, it's like that. This is done, but every time I go to use this on my eyes, it's like dried out. But you see as I'm using it now, it's showing. So, but yeah, it is basically done. Another Arbonne um, brand. This is a eyeliner. It's the black. So this is done. I cannot like use it anymore. And yeah, I used it basically to the end. So just I if I remember this, it does go on really good. I think I just have to uh, put it like maybe over again like two or three times. But I think this one was really good if I remember. It, I finished it so. NYX HD Studio Photogenic. I use this usually for like my eyebrows, like up here, you know, and up here so I can contour. I have another NYX, but it's not the same HD Studio, it's something else. And but I really like this one, um, it really made it pop. I really like the color. Everything. So the one I have now is a bit darker, but this one I would definitely get back again and I bought this at the pharmacy. Last but not least I have an elf eyeliner and this is the brush so this is done this is completely done and yeah so this is also at the pharmacy it's elf brand and I would buy this again but as you see, I used up two eyeliners, so I am going to have to use my line, my eyeliner. Uh, so these are actually liquid eyeliners that I use up, the both, the e.l.f. and, and the Arbonne. Um, so these two are done. So I might need a new liquid eyeliner. I'm going to see. If I have more before I buy anything else. So these are my empties. Let me know if you have used any of these products before. If you will try any of these products. And if you did use them, did you like them or not? Comment down below. And remember when life pricks you with thorns, go and search and smell for them roses. Okay? Bye, ciao, adios, au revoir, see ya later. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to join the family, Rose family. Bye.